What's up, everybody? JJ for JazzBeastCaseBreaks.com. We just sold out 2020 Panini Gold Standard Football 4 Box Break Figure Teams number 9. And last 4 boxes of the case right here. And last ball mojo was Daniel getting the uh, Vikings. Here's everybody else part of the break. So last 4 boxes, they all have Figure Team right at the end of the Gold Standard box. And uh, let's see what's hiding here in the last 4 boxes. Uh, first one we got is Aaron Donald to 25. Rams. Tom Jones. AJ Terrell for the Falcons. To 99. Atlanta Falcons. It's going to Charles. We got for the Denver Broncos, Philip Lindsay, 108 out of 199. Broncos, going to Eric Gonzalez. Brett Favre, nice little patch. Nice little Favre right there, 46 out of 49. Hall of Gold. Packers going to Dustin. Actually going to make his first start, guys, uh, this week. Jaguars, most likely. Jake Luton. Put back out of Oregon State. 30 out of 189. Jaguars, that is going to Kyle. We have Donovan Peoples-Jones. Brown's going to Matthew. And a triple relic in auto. 88 out of 99. Jacob Eason. Colts going to Kurt. Next one. Right up there in uh, Washington, right? Joe Montana. Out of 75 for the 49ers. Montana, 49ers. Got it with the 49ers. Todd Gurley. Dog and going to Charles. White gold, DeAndre Hopkins. Texans. Patrick Davis. A little dual relic here of DK Metcalf, Russell Wilson. Seahawks going to Justin. Sam Darnold, gold gear for the Jets. Going to Adam Coverman. Four hundred points. Everyone's gonna have a shot at that. At the end of the break. And Jalen Rigor back and healthy for my Eagles and got a touchdown yesterday. Little EB 101, 99 out of 99. Jalen Rager. I should say. Eagles. On Arturo. Very nice. Alright, two more guys. I think he can, Jordan, but I don't know what's going on in his head. <laughs> I think he can. He's capable of it. 
There was this perfect tweet yesterday that was just exactly how I was. It was like really pushing the Eagles, uh, really pushing the Eagles, like uh, how far the coaching staff was gonna get pushed until they bench him. But it was so funny. Let me see what I show it to you right here. Right <laughs> it's like that's how he is this that's how he is this year. He just he, he just makes you so frustrated but then he's like, Oh man. Man, what a great throw. <laughs> it's just like come on. No, but yesterday was much more frustrating. I, I, I honestly I don't wanna throw the excuse out there that the announcers were talking about how windy it was, but yeah, some passes were not good. And it's really just about being accurate. Joe Burrow, his accuracy is the one killer. Now, turning over the ball, you know, fumbling and stuff like that, that's that's always been him. He's a little aggressive, like he said. But if he's more accurate, then he definitely doesn't throw a lot of those interceptions. That's all. Michael Strahan, but I'm just being realistic. That's all. Some people are just like, ah, bench him already. Put in Jalen Hurts and blah, blah, blah. But trust me, Hurts, I don't know if we'll do that much better with ones has to do with. I know he's much more mobile for sure. But, um, I still don't think that's going to solve everything. That's for sure. So just more accurate, that's all. More accurate. No, he played horrible yesterday, Ryan, for sure. He, he definitely played horrible. But, see, that's the thing. Everybody's seen it on national TV, but the last two weeks against the Ravens and Steelers... Or even before the Giants game. You know, even Giants game, he wasn't bad. You know what I mean? It was just those three games, he played great. Hardly any turnovers, great accuracy and all that. But then he freaking goes on yesterday, Sunday Night Football, and just, just poopy. <laughs> you know? Tomlinson. But whatever. Like I said, I'm more realistic. I'm still riding with him. If, if, if there comes a time he's going to get benched or not with the team anymore, then hey, it's not going to not gonna stop me from being an Eagles fan. Next person up. It was something shocking for me, or it was something I had to deal with pretty hard with McNabb. McNabb was the only quarterback I knew for the Eagles for a long time. You know, and then once it was over for McNabb, I was like, what am I going to do? Mark Brunel to 75. We were blessed with McNabb for like 12 years, 11 years. Jaguars, tough. And we got nice patches here. 24 to 49. Michael Pittman Jr. Indianapolis Colts. That's going to Kurt. Luke Eagley. Did he really? Mariota did that in the playoffs a couple years back. Gurley. Josh Allen. Patches there with Cole Beasley. 147 to 199. David Montgomery for the Bears. Mike with that one. Sam Darnold. Patches at 32 out of 49. Jets, Jets, Jets. Going to Adam. But a little Justin Tucker. Guys, automatic. Ravens, going to Nico. And 
And LaVisca Chenault Jr., 54 out of 99. Nothing, Rex. That shit is trash. <laughs> there you go. And there you go, guys. That was the break. Uh, Gold Standard Football Pikachu number 9 in the books. This was the last four boxes of the case. If we do have any more, it'll be from a fresh case number 10. Appreciate you guys, jazbeescasebreaks.com. And everyone's going to have a shot at this 400 points. So a little extra or something as a consolation. Roll it. One and a four, five times. One, two, three, four, five. Hunter. There you go, man. A little consolation for you, buddy. 400 points coming your way. Alright, appreciate it guys.